YouTubers Brian Proctor back again with another action pose position of the week position. Now, this week I decided to do the run, and there are many types of running, so I decided to do two to give you guys a two for one. Because in what comic book have you not seen somebody running? So, without further ado, and this is the final piece, of course, because it goes from rear to front. So, again, without further ado, let's get into this double run. All right, let's get started with this one. We're going to do the run today because if you're doing a comic, then you're going to, your character is going to be running. Either he's going to be running away from the creature or the hero is going to be running towards the creature to save the day. So I'm going to do two side by side because there's a lot of different runs. So I want to give you your money's worth. So as I say in each video, determine the size of your drawing so it won't come off the paper so I'm gonna say about this size and you have to have the image in your head so you want to do your top half as I say you have to have the image in your head about of how this is gonna go so if you're new to this it's good to have um, what's the word reference reference some type of reference material so and if you're, you're very new just do a stick figure and then work that stick figure out so that's basically it right there so your torso is your most important part when uh, doing the anatomy and I'm going to do a video on a detailed one on the torso because this is the most important part right here so we have that that oval that ball so as I said, you want to have your center line or your action line. And since the head is down and not up, you're going to have your collarbone come down because that's how you determine whether your drawing or your character is going to be leaning or standing forward. So say like this is your torso, here's your chest, here's your abs, direction line, chest, abs now your collarbone right here which connects to your shoulders your show which connects to your chest collarbone connects to your, your shoulders your shoulders and these are your delts your neck and your head now when you look at this guy he or this drawing of a guy he's standing straight up now to make him lean or to make your character lean you want to take your collarbone instead of having it go straight across you're going to bring it down in a v a v yeah and then the shoulders will come down here too and then the chest instead of being straight across you want to bring that down as well because if you have a circle and you draw the um a line across that circle and you hold it straight a circle or ball and you draw a line across there the ball when you hold that line straight in front of you you'll see that x but when you take that ball and you lean it down this will still be straight but this will go around like that the more you lean it down the more that that line here will lean down and it's the same thing with the chest it's going to lean down like that and then instead of putting the head right on top you put the head down into the shoulders like that that's how you would make your character lean forward like that it's a very simple simple um step so he's leaning and then the chest of course as i said on that ball because that ball is round he's leaning and then the the abs right there so the first set of abs is going to come around like that second set is going to be down here somewhere and then your third set might be tucked in because he's he's leaning he's he's pinching himself forward so then we're going to have your your um love handles or your what, obliques your what is it the um external obliques and then your and these are your external obliques here and then your crotch so we get that leg here and you have to determine how long that leg is going to be, that knee, 
right here and then it comes around there's a part that comes around the knee and then you have your calf all right so on this one goes in now you can either have the foot up or down depending on the type of run like if i put the foot up it would bleed it would look something like that or if I put the foot down and I'm trying my best to keep this all in camera range so let me pull it up a little bit more or you can just put the foot down well if he's running this is going to be straight down like that it depends the other one gives it more of an action look so just for the sake of drawing uh, i'll do that one like that I need gnats i got gnats in my room and a gnat is just a pain it's gnat season i'm sorry i'm doing the wrong foot you like that it's a little gnat gotta kill it gotta kill it so okay the next leg is going to be bent back so i'm going to bend it back Right like that and that little muscle here and then you have your other muscles on the side same thing with this you have your knee which could be represented as a triangle or um, a diamond a triangle there I go again and then you have your outer muscle actually comes to touches that top of that knee and comes in and your inner muscle inner muscle and your outer muscle is higher and I used to do them all the same size so if you see one of my videos earlier and I did the same size I apologize for that but I don't do muscles too much leg muscles too much something I need to really work on and do more of okay so we have that and then as I said we already have the abs and you don't always have to draw abs where's my second set right here and they're going to go down so you won't really see that third set really and then you have crunch right here for that um, for the obliques now this is going to go into your delts and remember your delts are like a V they wrap around your back like that so you won't see any bicep from the way that I have it because it's going to be all behind that that delt so you will see just some form like that and then the fists because he is running so same thing here it's going to go into that your, your whole delt is going to wrap around your chest it's going to come from this and around and anytime you you do a person bent over this is going to come well let's do this you have that is separate your chest is here because basically they are two separate pieces but they do run into each other but they leave a little indentation right there chest because your chest is going to be actually like that and then your delts are going to come like that and then your arms but anytime you lean a person over they're going to run into each other as if they were like one piece down here it's going to be like that like that you still have that separation here but for the most part you're not going to get this line that actually separates so much so just make it one piece then you have the rest and then you can go on from there it's just easier to do and then your shoulders so this let me speed this up because I don't want to take too long doing it so the other hand is going to be out here somewhere you have to adjust where you want the hand up here up down here so you kind of have to feel where you want it so i'm going to say about right here and i always do the hand first and connect the rest with it so to do that i just do like a square like so and that was just doing get my test paper 
just doing this right here, just a square back and then bring this in like that. Then you can put the thumb in and then separate the fingers. It's a quick, easy way to do it. And then later on you can do your detail because this finger comes back, it tucks in and the palm like that. And then your, your, your little Y again around the fingers off and thumb the knuckles and then you have a quick hand out of that square and as i said in one of my videos everything is a square circle or triangle so we have that so let's bring this hand back about like that of this arm and then connect that bicep to that which connects to the delt And I'm not going to do too much detail in red pencil because I want to go ahead and do that in um, ink. I'm going to ink this thing. Chest and then your neck. Depends, depending on how big your neck is, you might not see it. So if I put my head here. Now if I dropped my head even lower, it would have been a, a more uh, speedier run, shall we say. Like that. And let me see. You won't see any lats because the chest actually is going to come out from the lats so let me adjust this all right so look and uh, because this side is twisted back more it should have been here you'd see some lats over here just a little bit let me adjust that just a tiny bit, a tad bit. And then I'll do the detail in the wash. It'll come out in the wash. The mistakes will come out in the wash. And I don't know if I'm going to keep that foot. I'm going to play with that as I when I ink it. We'll see what happens then. Now, from this quick rough, oh, let me do the hands like I was showing you guys. One, two, three, the fourth one. And then you get a little thumb. So I just did ovals, little sausages. And then this little one is bent in here and it comes back and then you can have your uh, knuckles like that. Same thing with this, hand bent in, a little square here for the thumb, square there that comes around and you make that Y, Y, yeah, upside down Y, and then usually that's about all I get with the, the, the that hand bent like that. I just lost that one for a second. Thank God for editing. So this is going to be one piece like that. It's coming around into your abs. And your other leg, part of your other leg. All right. All right. The next one is going to be, they're going to be side by side. Make my might make this one a little smaller. Same thing, have your image your ID in mind. I do the, um, I do this. And let's just say, you know, this guy, he's gonna come down like that. I guess they might be the same size in the end. Shoulder's gonna be twisted. I said like the arm's gonna be here. The other shoulder is going to be back, and you always have that back shoulder. Maybe you won't see something. You see some bicep, maybe not. It depends, um, and the word depends comes out a lot. It depends on how much of a, a lean the person has. Let's see. So this chest is going to be here to here. So the neck is going to go the head. Might be down. We'll figure that out as I get the rest of the body figured out. So I'm gonna come down here. I'm gonna get my and he's gonna be leaning, so he's not gonna be that long. And of course, 
We have the V again. Connect to the arm. Connect to the bicep. The arm, the delts. Connect to the bicep and the forearm. And I might put that back a little bit more because he's leaning again with the chest, the abs, the uh, obliques, which comes down into your crotch. Same thing here. And then this leg is going to be up. We're going to do opposite here. It's going to be down. Or should I say it's going to be the bent leg and it's going to come in. It's going to turn in more that way. And this one is going to be straight back. So, round that off. Knee. And the further it goes back, the more narrower it's going to become. A diamond for the knee and the foot. And this foot is going to be stretched out. Like he's taking a step. This one, I, don't know, I could bring it out and then have the foot here like that. Or I could bring it in more. Oh, this is my big eraser. And then still have some foot. I'll go with closer in just for the time being. Not necessarily need the foot, but I could have it just because. All right, so let's add a little detail to this. So collarbone, which goes into your, your, this. Uh, I, I promise you guys I'm going to remember this name. I know what it is, but every time I want to say it, deltoid, I forget it. I don't know why. Deltoid, deltoid, deltoid. Do your bicep, your forearm, and that muscle comes. Yeah, well, drill the fist first. This is going to be about right here. Remember, it's basically a square. say that now this line from your wrist comes straight in and it kind of turns and you'll have this little piece of muscle right there and I do not know what that is called I'm not even gonna pretend that I know at the point here separates your bicep and your tricep you have your chest which goes straight into your delt And I'll change this hand. I will just have, I won't have any biceps showing. I'll just have a little of the wrist, the wrist forearm, and then the hand. And the neck. Remember that V from that line, and that comes out as far as you want the neck to be then you can have the head wherever you choose to put the head like that and your shoulders there's lumps in your shoulders because your shoulders come back behind your neck i mean this is all your shoulders but these are your traps i got that one right they go behind your neck so you're gonna have this big meaty piece here big meaty piece here and they go behind your neck let's see if i can do it real quickly without turning this video into like a thousand uh, thousand hour video. So you say you have your back, here's your spine, here are your delts, and this is from the back, and these are your lats. So your, your um, yeah, comes up like this. From behind this, this separates into, and this is your neck here, it stops here. This is the back of your skull like that so these are your traps thank you once again with this v-shape like that 
So this is this. Let's bring this down so you guys can see. This here is this, and from the back, it's going to come up the back of your neck like this, and then stops and it splits like that in two, and it comes down like that. So your neck actually comes down like this. And then those muscles are here and it goes around the back, goes around the neck. And then you have these little upside down uh, triangles here, upside down V's right there because of the way that the muscle is shaped like that. So you got that, hopefully you got that. Now let's speed this up a little bit more because I'll fix everything in the wash in the inking process. One, two, three, four. You might see the finger bent here. You might not, depending on the um, angle. Same thing here. You have this piece for the thumb. Thumb comes down into that little square like that. Bring it in camera range. This comes out, in, and in. So this is gonna come around again into your V, your Y shape and then you can have the other knuckle from your second finger if you choose only up top not in the bottom your leg muscles again this has got to be in the front why does this look like it's in the back make this a little bigger and then i can make that one more narrower or you can bring it back more like this to make it look like I have this cut in front of it and you can bring this really narrow to make it look like it's in the back. Because if you overlap it, then you know that it's in front. Your knee around you won't see too much of that muscle here touches the knee comes up this one does not comes up to that V your shin bone calf leg and then your foot like so, you got your knee here, this muscle here, that one here, and then this. So, these are your two running positions. Forgive me if I'm not all hyped like I usually am because it's like early, early in the morning couldn't sleep and I said let me get here and do this video so the next one I'll be a little more hyped but this is a teaching teaching video so let me go ahead and you won't see the abs remember that you'll you you come down here your see and your your comes down this way and then you'll have your inner from um, your abs you can't forget the abs your obliques right here and here comes down and into the crotch. And your abs, you won't see that because it's covered by the hands. So, if I get 10 views on this video, I'll be shocked. So, okay, and that separates here. As it comes out, it separates as it did there. And then the chest could come up here a little bit because when you get this, this is overlapping the chest. The chest will curve here and it will leave you that little space there. So, with this, let's do this. Let's ink this thing and then call this one a wraps, a wraps, a wraps. Yes, this is a wraps. All right.
have two runners, two for the price of one. So hopefully I didn't leave anything out of the video. And you guys learned a little something about the run. And it's all about the torso. And I could have given them a little more twist and a little more lean. But this is another quick, I just wanted to teach you type of video. And you got to forgive that little gnat that's running around or flying around just bugging the heck out of me. So, on that note, I will call this one done. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. And uh, subscribe and tell some people that, hey, this guy's teaching people how to do comics. It's not just about uh, let me show you how I can draw. It's let me show you how to draw, how to really draw. So, with that said, I can't think of anything else now. If I want to complain or, or moan about something else, I'll do it in the next video. So, I am out. Peace.